Took you long enough. I was tied up with my work. Never thought I'd live to see the day, to be honest. You and me both, Snoop, it's a milestone. So, there goes the Westpaw Casino. Well, one less thing for you to worry about, am I right? That old joint. That was just a cover-up. The shady stuff was always done behind the scenes. Besides, don't worry. I'm sure King has more than enough stashed away. He'll be fine. Mind if I take note? Knock yourself out, pal. You know the drill. No quotes, no names. No problem. Can't think of what'll happen next, you know? What do you mean? You know what happens when someone steps on King's toes, Ted? Casino was his bread and butter. He's not gonna let that slide. I had a chat with him last night. I have a feeling he's going to pass on this one. Red? Yeah. These are terrible times, Bear. I know, Sam. I wanted to talk to you about this, Ted. Something is fishy in Paper City, and it's not just a fish market. You got that, too. Huh. Let's not talk about it here. There might be some seagulls around. What? Uh, nothing. Anyway, I have a couple of leads left, and the night's still young. I'll catch you later tonight, and we'll talk. Sounds like a plan. Anyways, I need to get closer so I can have a chat with that Barry fellow. Brian? Yeah, that's what I said. Those PCPD clowns are not going to let me get close, though. I'm sure I have a way of circumventing these types of situations. Usually, I do. But, seeing as Commissioner is here, it'll take more than a pamphlet to get me inside this time. Pamphlet? Don't worry about it. I wish it could shed some light on this freaking case. Canadian Cub. For the bear in the know who enjoys a good blend. It's like it's talking to me personally. Seems like the Fireboys arrived a little too late to the barbecue. Sam Blabbermouth Murphy, Paper City's top news hound. Miss me already? Don't flatter yourself. I'm getting to it. Well, get to it then. I'm getting to it, goddammit. Where's the fire? Nowhere now, I mean. It was a figure of speech. Go figure. Seems like the fire boys arrived a little too late to the barbecue. I better not. I have to find the doll first. So, is it like a sauna? I don't... What is it? Two stupid dogs. Please move away, sir. This here is a crime scene. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was an accident. God damn it, Dudley. What? The official statement, man. Oh, yeah. Um... Please move away, sir. There's been a terrible accident. Sure, sure. You guys mind if I have a quick chat with your fellow police officer there, Bradley? Uh, Brian? That's what I said. No one's allowed. Okay, never mind. I see Locke's here. Seems strange he would come down to investigate an accident. The commissioner's here because of the press. It's better if he deals with the media himself. I can imagine. Hey, buddy, who the hell are you anyways? Me? Oh. I was just on my way to work when I saw the sky light up like a goddamn 4th of July, you know? And what is it that you do, exactly? I'm an extra. I take these gigs on the side to kickstart my acting career. An actor, huh? Anything we might have seen. You watch a lot of Indonesian cinema? Is that even a thing? I'll just pretend I didn't hear that, savages. I'm a lawyer. Another one? You people are like vultures. Hey, well, yeah, I'm actually with you on this one. I take vacations instead of other people. I take their money, go on a vacation, and send them a bunch of photos. My clients swear it's like they went there themselves. Oh, that sounds great. Man, I wish I had some money to pay you to go somewhere. I always wanted for someone else to visit China instead of me. I hear they have dragons there. Hmm. There must be a gambling joint nearby. Oh, that's right. There is. These guys sure don't have it easy with that fire starter roaming the city.
Hey, where do you think you're going? It's like a building, but, you know, drawn. There's that guy, that one cop. What was his name again? Hey, where do you think you're going? I don't think so, pal. You have any dirt on those two idiots by the site? Just anything. <laughs> well, the one on the left is Dudley. He got married recently. His wife, Mary, works over at Paper City General as a nurse. The other one is Bob. He was the best man at Dudley's wedding. Rumor has it Mary and Bob used to date in high school. Well, that's an angle if I ever saw one. Do your worst, buddy. So, buddy, who the hell are you? I work over at the Paper City General. Really? My wife works there, too. Uh, do you know her? What's her name? Mary. Mary Robbins. She's a... A nurse. I know Mary. Such a sweet girl. She's always telling me about you, Bob. You're a lucky guy, let me tell you. Yeah, she is, and, uh, wait, Bob? My name's Dudley. He's Bob. What the hell? Oh, boy. I'm sorry. She's always telling me about her high school sweetheart and how he's so handsome, and I just thought, you know what, forget I said anything. Mary said I'm handsome, huh? Come on, man, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it could have been any number of Mary Robbins down at the Paper City General who are married and think their high school boyfriends are handsome still. Yeah, I guess you're right. Denial, man. Look it up. Idiots. So, what are your plans now? I'm heading down to the sunny sandbox beach. I hear it's really something. Uh, something? It's a beach, pal. I mean... I might go to Backyard Town. Now that Bruno the dog is gone, the place has really flourished, you know? Yeah, I hear it's great down there now. I'm actually going to China. I hear they have dragons there. That's a must, if you ask me. Oh, no. You're going there? Really? Oh, I'm so jealous, I want to murder you. Just kidding. But, but no, really, can you bring me back some photos? I would love to see them, man. You got it, pal. Consider it done. Great! You're such a great guy. Nothing, Sam. The married one is a complete idiot. Well, here's a scoop, Snoop. It seems Mary went to visit her relatives two weeks ago down to Cardboardville. She went alone. Mm -hmm. The plot thickens. Coincidentally, Bob went there on some two-day seminar called The Amazing World of Bubbles that same weekend. Now, I'm not a gambling man, but if I were... Thanks, Sam. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's you again. Ruined any marriages in the meantime, bud? What? Oh, no. I was just leaving and wanted to say goodbye. Going on someone else's vacation? I'm going down to Cardboardville to attend some seminar. Mary is always talking about that place. She went down there two weeks ago, and she brought the best saltwater taffy this side of Dredge River. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah, I know. And check this. Bob was there a couple of weeks ago as well. He was attending that uh, bubble seminar. Didn't you, Bob? Um, yeah, it was only okay, though, um... Small world, indeed. <laughs> oh, for the love of... Mary's having an affair with Bob here, you stupid idiot. I mean... Smooth, Ted! I'm sorry, Sam. This was getting ridiculous. Bob, is this true? What? Um, no. Come on, man. Who are you going to believe? Your best man or some, some lawyer slash actor? I knew it! I 
seriously doubt that. You were always so jealous of me. You just couldn't let me have her, could you? Jealous of you? Don't make me laugh. Besides, she told me she only married you for the money. Money? You son of a... Ow! Take that! You son of a... Ooh, I never wanted to Paper hit you, but just... Uh, ladies and gentlemen. You little... You were my best friend! Oh, no. What's going on over there? Those two, they're just horsing around. Mr. Bear? Surprised to see you here. Hey, there... You? It's Brian, sir. Brian. Sure, I knew that. Anyways, what an unfortunate accident. Am I right? Accident? Um, sure. Listen, was anyone here when this accident went down? You're worried about Miss Ashworth? Huh. Worried? Don't get smart with me, Chief. Now, was anyone here is what I'm asking. Only Mr. King and some of his associates. They all made it out in time, though. Seems like Mr. King cut the gala short and escorted everyone out at some point. It's almost like he was expecting this to happen. Huh. Weird. And, um... Miss Ashworth? You know, sure, whatever. Fortunately, Miss wasn't here at the time. Any idea where she is? Last I've heard, she was seen at the Paper City Harbor, taking a cab to King's Island. Harbor? What's her game? Now, I'm not sure, Mr. Bear. But it seems to me Miss is following Mr. King and his associates. God damn it. She's still looking for Tiger and Jones. This can't end well. Oh, I'll say. Um, Mr. Bear, I'm not supposed to share this information with you, but something big is going down at the King's place later tonight. It would be better if you hurry on down there before... Before what? The Commissioner is planning... Hey! What's going on down there? Brian, son, go and stop those two idiots. This is not a place for horsing around. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I have to go. Wait, Sport, what were you... Ted, what are you doing here? This is still under official investigation. You know the rules. Don't worry about me, Sarge. I'm just passing through. Going somewhere in particular? I'm going down to Kokomo. Kokomo? Yeah, my plan is to get there fast and then just take it slow. You know... Stop being such a wise guy, Ted. It's not good for your health. <laughs> if I had a nickel... You'd probably drink it down. Move along now. There's nothing to see here. Can't really tell if this is your official statement or just your apathy talking. I suggest you walk away if you don't want to spend the night in the slammer snoop. Resorting to threats, are we? I hope I've made my point. See you around, Sarge. My regards to the missus.